I am Anil Kumar sharing with you application questions based on Euclid's division lemma. The question is use Euclid's division lemma to show that the cube of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 or 3m plus 8 for some integer m. So we'll begin with what Euclid's division lemma is, which is a equals to bq plus r, right? So we are working in this set of integers for the time being. This is valid for all real numbers. Integers are also real numbers, right? Since we are interested in numbers like 3m, uh, let me... Uh, where r, let me complete this, r is greater than or equal to 0 and less than b, right? We at times write absolute value of b. It has to be positive. Okay. Now, let b be equal to 3. Let's talk about this since we have something related to 3 in our question, right? That gives us an idea of selecting b as 3. So if I use b as 3, I could write this as a equals to 3q plus r and now r should be greater than or equal to 0 but less than this value 3. Now that gives us possible values of r as equal to 0 or 1 or 2. Is it okay? So that means we are working now with three cases, um, r equals to 0, okay, r equals to 0, 2 or 3, okay. So these are three cases, we say case 1, when r equals to 0, we say case 2, when r equals to 1, and case 3, when r equals to 2. So if r is equal to 0 in this equation we can write a equals to 3q plus 0 if r is 1 we can write it as a equals to 3q plus 1 and if 2 then we can write a equals to 3q plus 2 is it okay so these are your three different cases since we are to figure out what is the cube of any positive integer so we'll cube both both sides for all of them and then try to show that the cube of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 or 3m plus 8 right that's the whole idea so you can actually pause the video at this stage try it out and then look into my suggestion right not a big deal just do cube on both the sides so if i do cube all both sides so now we'll do cube all sides for all right so a cube is equals to 3 q whole cube which is 27 q cube so that is a cube since we want to prove 3 times any other integer I will take 3 common 27 divided by 3 is 9 so we get 9 q cube and now I can write this as 3m, right? Where m, m is equals to m is 3 cube. Is it okay? So that is how we prove the first part. Let's do the next part. Uh, well, you might remember, I should write down, if I have x plus y whole cube, it is equal to what? It is equal to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. We'll use this formula and that's why I've given you here. So now let us cube it. So we get a cube equals to 3 cube plus 1 whole cube. So a cube is equal to, when you expand, x cube means 3 cube, 3 cube whole cube plus 3 times square of 3 cube 1 times anything is 1 so I'm not writing that 
plus 3 times 3q and plus 1q which is 1 right now we'll prove that this is equal to 3 times m plus 1 so I'll keep this one aside and I can factor 3 out of all of them right so I'm saving a step here not worth it uh, let me expand okay 3 times 3 is uh, 3 cube is 27 so 27 q q plus square is 9 9 times 3 is again 27 q square 3 times 3 is 9 so you get 9 q plus 1 right and now since we want to show 3 m plus 1 see this question we could have placed 9 m also right 9 m plus 1 okay or you know that is possible but in because we're given 3m i'm taking 3 common here what are you left with 9q q plus 9q square plus 3q plus 1 and i could write this as 3m plus 1 you get an idea so cube of any integer could be written as 3m plus 1 okay you could have done you could do here 9m I could change this question to 9m and 9m plus 1 so you could try with that question right so you could rephrase the question okay so we have done that part now let's go to the last one which is uh, 3m plus 8 2 cube is 8 that gives you an idea this number will be replaced by 8 and you get the answer so you can actually pause the video and solve it let's cube both sides so we get 3 cube plus 2 whole cube that gives us 3 cube whole cube plus 3 times 3 cube square times 2 plus 3 times 3 cube times 2 square right plus 2 cube is it okay which is 8 uh, now we'll take we'll write this as 27 q q plus 2 times 27 which is 54 q square plus uh, 9 times 2 is 18 q plus 8 we can always take uh, 3 common as we did earlier 9 q q plus dividing by 3 we get 3 times um, 1 as 3 and 24 is 3 times 8 q square plus 9 q plus 8 now I could write this as 3 m plus 8 right do you see that which is a q so we have shown that it could be 3 m plus 8 right so these are only three possible combinations correct so with the help of Euclid's division lemma we have shown that the cube of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 or 3m plus 8 uh, you could get in your test a question saying 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 right in that case take 9 as a common factor and show the result I hope that's absolutely clear. Thanks for watching and all the best.